I think the issue is, at the moment, Labour is saying it's not going to raise income tax, not even on the very richest, which Keir Starmer formally pledged to. So those who actually could afford to pay a bit more tax aren't going to be asked to. Capital gains tax, where if you make your money from stocks and shares or a portfolio of buy-to-let properties, Mm -hmm. you're not going to pay the same rate as people who work for a living pay, which would be a very fair thing to do. Not going to do any form of wealth tax. There are various models you could use for that. Not going to raise corporation tax, I don't think. I think they've ruled out as well. And you're obviously not going to raise things like counts tax or VAT, Mm -hmm. which are regressive, I would hope. So therefore... You have to say where the money's come from. You can't invest in the NHS. You can't invest in social care. You can't invest in mental health. You can't have a fairer, you know, welfare system and raise children out of poverty unless you get more money in. And saying, well, you know, we'll go for growth. Well, okay, you might do, but that may take a long time. We've had 15 years of stagnation virtually in the British economy you would since also, the banking crash. You would also recognise, so, Andrew, that we have said that we will abolish the non-DOM tax status, and that's, that's how we're going to raise... That's a small pocket change. Come on, that's not a big tax change. It's going to bring in if, massive if, revenue. If you think and you've that, already spent that. If you that's think, not extra money for the NHS. That's not extra money for mental health. That's not extra money to tackle child poverty. But you, you, you do. Know. if you think that making sure all children have free breakfast clubs in it's primary schools. It's a very schools. good policy. Absolutely. I'm not against it. And what also, I'm saying is it's quite small scale on the scale of what you are going to face when you come into government. 